this is going to be a very short live today so go ahead and just stay in and stay tuned because we're going to be in we're going to be out at seven o'clock we're going to get started today is a really quick live and what i wanted to do is for the month of january um kind of recruit re not regroup recruit re <laughs> review duh some of the things that we have been talking about for the month of january because in the month of february we're gonna in the month of february we're going to be getting into some very fun stuff so i'm gonna tell you about what is upcoming for february because we're going to get into some exciting stuff but what i really wanted to focus on in january is you guys having the tools and the keys that you need to be able to change your life what disheartens me most about the people that I help, the people that I work with, the people that I am passionate about moving from point A to point B is that when we get to this new year thing, people get all excited and they get motivated and they say that their life is gonna be different and that the year is gonna be different. However, when we get to even the month of February or even the end of the year, you find out that you're in the same spot that you've been in time and time again. And it's frustrating to me to see you guys have to continue to live through the same cycles, the same patterns, the same blocks, because I know from firsthand experience that life can be different. Life can be better. Um, that little feeling that you feel deep inside when you know that you're in a situation that's not meant for you, or you know that you are in a space where you could be doing better and you want to do better, but you don't know what to do when you're in that space. I, I just know what's on the other side of that personally. And so it hurts me to see you in these spaces. So before I get into my short little message for today, I just want to tell you about some upcoming things because I think it's going to be really fun for you all and fun for this group. One thing that we're going to be talking about is self mastery. I don't think a lot of you guys understand what I do and why I do it. And it is primarily because it's something that a lot of people do not do. You see a lot of men talking about this primarily talking about um, high performance, leveling up, personal mastery, self mastery, but it's something that we can all incorporate in a more feminine way to tie in our spirituality with our personal development our intuition with our intellect to really level up. And so I really want you guys to understand how powerful this is because this is the number one thing that I've understood building upon my spiritual practice to make it to where I'm able to manifest things easier, faster, and better than I ever have in my life. So we're going to get into the foundations of self-mastery, personal mastery as we move into the month of February. I'm going to tell you how I use tarot cards specifically for personal mastery and intuitive guidance. I'm also going to teach you my key principles of self-mastery so you can begin to understand how you can learn to take control of yourself and therefore learn to take control of your life through energy manipulation and things like that. But in order to do that, you have to understand yourself and you have to understand why it, why this stuff works and why it is important to you and how it relates to you. Because if people teach you how to use tarot cards and do all these different things, but you're using it for more smaller mundane purposes, instead of these bigger spiritual things that you can use these tools for in order to really live a life of limitless potential, you're doing yourself a disservice and I don't want you to do that. So I'm going to teach you about that. And um, we're also going to talk about some top tips to help you begin your spiritual journey. So while we were laying a foundation in January for you to be able to start to create shifts in your life, start to get rid of the bad habits, learn how to really set goals, learn how to really track those goals, easy ways to change bad habits, five ways that you can change your life, all of these things. We talked about the eclipses. I gave you the numerology for the year. So you are now well prepared to step into, okay, you have a vision of what this year should look like. You have ways that you can let go of the past and move into the future. But now, how can we concretely do that? Personal development, self-mastery, and integrating spirituality into that self-mastery to become a better person. So I'm really excited because I know a lot of you are very interested in stuff like the tarot cards and how to use them to become a better person and how to manifest the life of your dream. Today, I just wanna leave you with a quick little lesson 
And while I'm doing that, if you have any questions about what we've talked about so far, if you want to share anything you're personally going through, um, for me to kind of do a little Q and a with you guys and and help you troubleshoot anything, go ahead and leave questions or comments below. And I will check them in a minute. I wanted to talk to you about your ability to delay gratification. A lot of times, the reason why we are not successful in life is because we don't have that ability to delay gratification in the now in order to recognize the things that we want to recognize for our future. And one of the key things that you need to do to be able to move from where you are now to where you want to be is to be able to stop or transcend the discomfort of the now in order to realize the manifestations of the future. You have to transcend the discomfort of the now in order to actualize the manifestations of the future. And you have to understand what true sacrifice really is. And it doesn't even have to be sacrifice where you feel like you are a martyr or you feel like you are not living until you actualize what it is that you're trying to manifest. When I say that you need to understand true sacrifice, it means that you have to have a vision and a purpose and a passion for that thing that you want in the future more than you want something in immediacy. Again, you guys know from me, my struggle after being sick for a few years, really sick for a few years, not feeling like myself, is now trying to get back into who I really was before I got sick and getting up and moving. And it's very hard for me to stop that immediate gratification that sleep gives me, that my warm cozy bed gives me, that a donut gives me in exchange for getting up, moving my butt, getting to the gym, etc. And so I want you guys to think about that too. When you start to make decisions that you no longer want to be where you've always been, you no longer want your life to be where it's always been. You want to shift, you want to change, you want to grow, you want an extraordinary life. You want a life that you know you feel deep inside that you were called to do, you were called to honor. However, you have problems struggling to actually actualize that in a in a given day the amount of times that you can transcend your ego or transcend your instinctual reactions or transcend who you've always been and make a choice to do something better or do something different or do something from your higher self or do something from that calling from that space from that soul from that desire the amount of times that you can do that in one day, the the more that you can do that in one day is the faster that you're going to manifest what it is that you want to manifest. This goes for many different things. This goes for the self-talk in your head when you um, talk down on yourself or you have self-doubt or you have fears or you have anxieties and you let those control you instead of thinking of instead of doing mindset shifts to think about a different way to to approach a situation or to frame a situation. This can be from the choices that you make. Like I told you, every day in the morning, my choice can be to move or to not move. And every time that I choose not to move and not to honor myself, it makes it that much harder for me to actually manifest what it is that I really want to manifest. What you need to think about when you are thinking about decisions in your life and you are really trying to create a better life for yourself is think about the string of consequences that occur from those decisions that are seemingly small but impact you in a big way nobody um gets out of shape from eating one donut it is a series of bad decisions usually smaller decisions usually insidious decisions that stop you from living the life that you want to live. When you look at the big things that happen in your life that were catastrophes, yes, those rock you to your core and they do change your life. But every day you have these smaller points, these smaller endpoints, these smaller decision points that are really what is shaping your life. It's usually not the bigger things, even though we want to associate change with the bigger things. So I want you to think about the string of consequences that you set in motion 
when you make decisions in your life on the day to day. And those string of consequences based on your decisions can be positive or they can be negative. And your goal in life, your goal, anybody, any successful person will tell you that their main goal in life is just to make a string of more positive decisions that lead to more positive consequences, that lead to more rewards, um, even though they may not instantly feel good in the moment. I guess what I'm trying to say is when you understand this, it seems small, but it's powerful. And when you can understand that your decisions, your small decisions play a bigger role than you think in your life, you can start to pause and you can start to be more mindful about the things that you do. And you can even start to make decisions before they actually occur in your life. Um, such as for me, it would be meal prep. It would be laying my clothes out. It would be knowing that I have a busy day ahead of me. And so maybe I'm going to have to work out in the morning versus work out in the evening. All of those things take that take place. But when you can start to pre-plan and be proactive about your life based on your goals and ba based on where you want to be, you'll start to see that the more that you can influence your string of decisions, those small little decisions you make on a day to day is going to be the key to how you create a better life for yourself. So this is the key here. So the way that you respond to these smaller choices, if you want to be healthy, are you going to eat a salad or are you going to eat a donut? If you want to be fit, are you going to take 30 minutes to go for a walk or are you going to take 30 minutes to watch a show on TV? These smaller decisions that you are making in your life are just mirrors of the bigger decisions that you make in your life. This is powerful too because just think about that you don't honor your heart you don't honor your soul you don't honor your intuition when you make a small decision on the day to day in order to um see what you want to eat where you want to go where you where you want to drive all those little things think about now how you make decisions on a larger scale um, with the people that you're in a relationship with, with the career path that you choose, with um, being in alignment with your values, being in alignment with your intuition, being on point with your purpose, all of those things, because it's going to give you clues. The reason why I'm tying in those small little decisions and how you make them to those bigger decisions is because they're very congruent. It's a mirror. If you're failing at the smaller decisions, you're probably also failing at the bigger decisions. But guess what that means? Is that if you find yourself in that position, you may not be brave enough or strong enough or smart enough or whatever it is to change or influence those bigger things that you need to change about your life. But if you can change how you approach those smaller decisions, how you show up in the world, what you eat, how you move, what you do with your free time, how you spend your money, um, the people that you associate with on a day-to-day -day basis. Once you can control those little smaller decisions moment to moment that seem insignificant, you will find that that will then trickle into how you make bigger decisions. Now that I know what I know, me making a smaller decision to stay in bed impacts me on a bigger level because spiritually I know who I want to be. I know what my vision is for my life, but whenever I don't make a good small decision, it trickles into me not honoring that vision and that purpose. And so that's what I want to get you to see. When I don't eat right, that d dishonors who I want to be on a bigger scale. It makes it more easier for me to do things that I wouldn't normally do, to hang out in places that I normally wouldn't hang out, to say, hey girl, yeah, let's go out and get a pizza, like all that different kind of stuff. So I just want you to think about how you make small decisions. Start off with making good, positive decisions about the smaller choices you have to make day to day. And you will find that inherently the bigger decisions will become easier to make because as you become healthier, as you start to associate with different people and stop watching TV and stop spending your money friv frivolously, you also start to notice, hey, the relationship that I'm in is not in alignment with me. The way that I've been living my life spiritually and mentally is not in alignment. And you start to make those bigger decisions because the way that you live on the day-to-day -day is incongruent with who you want to be. Um, 
in your bigger vision and vice versa. I do want to let you know before I go, I do have one slot available for coaching. I announced this yesterday and I already have a lot of applications because I only accept clients, private clients by application only. So if you are interested in having me as your private coach, I will leave the link below for you to apply if you think this is for you if you are finally ready to have clarity finally ready to live a life with purpose and with a vision finally ready to create a spiritual foundation where you know about tarot cards astrology crystals energy and how all of this stuff can work for you and make you a more powerful person so that you can learn to live a life with passion purpose and limitless potential I'll leave the link below one slot for now. Um, it's going to book up fast, so I'll leave it to you to do that. Um, it's not always the big stuff. Stop trying to make big decisions. Stop trying to make big changes. Stop trying to make big shifts until you learn how to master the tiny stuff. Because when you can master the tiny stuff, it is a hundred times easier to then master the bigger stuff in your life because you become a different person through a series of smaller decisions, smaller habits. And as you do that, the other things in your life, they just are not going to feel right. You already know in your heart they don't feel right, but you're not brave enough to, to get rid of them, to let them go and to move forward. But when you start to become a different person because you're making different decisions daily and delaying that instant gratification of being in a relationship with somebody that you don't like just because you want a warm body in the bed or eating when you know you shouldn't be eating or not moving or whatever it is for you, you're going to find that you're going to be able to make bigger shifts that way for yourself. Next week, I think I might be traveling on the next day but if i am traveling i will at least leave you guys a video or something that will help you get through the week okay i'll talk to you guys later bye